Today we're looking at the Aurochs newly redesigned Gravity Bifold Wallet. It takes its design cues from several other wallets that we reviewed, but it does have a unique take of its own. So stick around. Thanks for joining Wallatopia. Please go to wallatopia.info, register for videos, other notifications, as well as manufacturer's discounts, which we do set out. And you know we purchase all the wallets we review. That means we have a totally unbiased view of the wallets we review. Others who receive them for free in exchange for a review, not so much. Let's get into the Arox Gravity redesigned wallet. With Arox's products, they all come in this fantastic padded packaging. I mean, it is something you can use beyond just opening and receiving this wallet. I mean, let's look at the packaging for just a second. It's uh, all lined, it's padded. Um, you can reuse this for, I don't know, regifting or for you know putting other things in there that you want to keep safe and, and store. I mean, it's just a, it's well done. And, and this is not inexpensive. So they've gone out of their way to produce some packaging that I think is exceptional in the field. Let's look at the wallet itself. This is the newly redesigned Arox Gravity Wallet. And as I open this up, you can immediately start seeing some common themes from other wallets that we reviewed. But the point is, is that that design is tried and tested. And so they are looking at this as a way to not only redesign what they had, but add additional features. So let's take a quick look. You can see that we've got reinforced stitching on the edges. Uh, the edges are folded over. Uh, it feels very beefy, meaning not thick, but it feels uh, very solid. This is very uh, substantial leather that they've used in this. And I really, really like this design that they've, they've reintroduced. So onto the feature review of the new Arox Gravity Wallet. What I like about this wallet in particular is that it's, it's very indicative of serving markets outside of the United States. And we've talked about this before because there are needs that we don't typically have inside the U.S. that we have externally. So if we look at this quickly from the outside, no features on the exterior. Also notice that there are no sew marks on the exterior which could affect the aesthetics of it. If we come to the interior, we notice on the left hand side, we immediately have not just one, but we have two card slots right here. And we also have a pull tab. This pull tab then provides access for less less uh, accessed cards, you know, kind of archive card slot in here. If we move to the right hand side, up here, and in talking particular about outside the United States is we have a SIM card slot and we also have a slot for the pin push, a little pin push uh, tool that you can put in here as well, as well as the SIM, the SIM card, in addition to one and two additional card slots right here. Behind it, we have yet another card slot in here and back in here, we can notice that we have another little slot in here. This can be for quick coins or it could be for a key. You can see that right up here. And so that is a clever little place for a feature uh, to, be, to be put into this wallet and is very usable for smaller things that you may not access often, keys, coins, and, and the like. And that is a review of the features of the new Arox Gravity Wallet. Now under the card and cash, I don't have a SIM card, card cash, and a couple coin insertion test. You saw that I put 11 cards in here. That was heavy. I mean, it makes for a very thick wallet. I took out a number of them, and reasonable minimal carries for reasonable carries, probably six. And uh, with that, uh, I think you're, you're going to find that the, that the thinness of this is still going to be very acceptable. I did put uh, seven pieces of cash in there, first US and then yen. Yen is the same size dimensions as the 100 euro bill. So anything smaller than 100 is going to fit in here just fine from a euro perspective. And it uh, really worked out nicely. And, and it, uh, I put, you know, I think three coins in there. It, it just was really quite nice. Now the company recommends up to eight cards. So, you know, I had more. Eight is about right in the reasonable six to eight. But they say you can get 20 slips of cash in there. 
I don't know if that's going to create a ton of bulk in there. You know, we had, you know, 10 in there. But anyway, from a quality perspective, uh, this is 100% full grain leather from South Asian tanneries. They're very socially accountable for how they source their leather, and it is then eventually manufactured in Pakistan. It is a very durable construction. My only concern is with this pull strap here. As we take a look at this, and we use this to pull the cards out, and we can get a better view. You can see right there that it's got this not only opening, but it's this bridge. And this bridge right here uh, has just a little bit of leather on both sides, keeping it in, and there could be a potential of that pulling out and breaking over time. And of course, uh, it would still function because cards actually just guide in and maintain that, uh, but it could be a potential weak point to address. So the idea is that you know, maybe in the next round of construction on this, they could reinforce that area a little bit more. Bellroy reinforces that area quite a bit. Now the edges are folded over. We see how they're folded over here and they have a painted edge on top of it. That is a, a sign of, of good quality and will provide longer durability uh, that will prevent it from breaking down over time. The edge sewing is robust, proper reinforcement points as we talked about and showed uh, just quickly earlier. And it uh, prevents the cards from slipping around in here on how this is positioned right here. If we see that uh, stitching right there. If we didn't have that stitching, then cards really could move laterally much easier. This way, with that there, it keeps these cards in check. Now, the leather is a little rough to the touch for me, uh, which is something I find with all Aurochs products and their wallets, but it's not really distracting. It actually gives the impression uh, that it's stronger, which I guess is a good thing. It's priced for $65, shipped to the United States for free. Their prices went up late last year, but the quality matches the pricing against competition. They could have just captured more of the market if they'd kept it a little, kept it a little bit lower. Now, I really like how they, they have the quick access cards uh, stacked differently from each other in here. As we can see right here, they have separate stacks and they have that uh, separation feature right here, which provides that separation between them, which I quite like. Now, the pull strap here that we were talking about earlier, it's very small, and you can see it does not protrude. It has a, a great uh, profile here to where it's just enough where you can grab it easily to be able to pull cards out, but it's not so big that it just flops around and causes problems. And one thing that I did find is that when inserting cards into the slot that has the little coin pouch here that sometimes it could catch. It's not very often, but it's a potential something to be, to be uh, aware of because other coin slots will have a flap that actually flaps over that and actually holds it in place. So if you're, as you're inserting cards in there, there's nothing for it to catch onto. Now it has RFID material. I know, it's RFID material all through it, if you like that. But there have been some requests to have a quick access card area, which is not RFID, somewhere on the outside that might be, because of things like subway passes, a building, room, hotel, access keys and cards, those kinds of things. I, this is where RFID just kind of gets in the way and, and you really need to have at least one or two slots that doesn't have that. So you can leave things in your wallet, remain functional without having to always dig into it to get things out that otherwise you wouldn't have to worry about. Now it measures 4.3 by 3.2 by 0.4 and it weighs 54 grams. Now it has a they have a 100% money back guarantee. It's a wonderful organization based in Pakistan. They produce very thoughtful designs. All their designs are really unique in one way or another and they're a conscientious environmental company. They're working towards a B certification, just like Bellroy. And so speaking of Bellroy, this wallet takes the Bellroy slim sleeve design and makes some market improvements over it. And in many ways, this wallet pull, pulls closer to the Bellroy designer edition at kind of half the cost. So maybe something to consider. Now on to the final score. For quality of four, price of three, features of four, usability of four, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 38 out of 50. If you like the Bellroy products, if you like the Ikipod, for example, or this is definitely something to look at. I, I, uh, I do kind of like this. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again. Bye.